Well, the MP for that area, Stephen Kennock, uh, joins me now live. Uh, a very good morning to you, Stephen Kennock. Thanks so much for talking to us. Uh, so it's expected that Tata Steel will make this announcement later on this morning. Uh, it's expected to confirm that it's going to close the blast furnaces there at the plant. So what's your reaction to that? Well, it would be deeply, deeply disappointing if that is what Tata Steel announced. Uh, the, the steelworks here in Potolbert is the beating heart of our economy and of our community. And the multi-unions have come together and put a plan on the table, which would actually be much more of a bridge rather than a cliff edge to the changes that we know that have to take place within our steel industry. Uh, but instead of that, we've got a plan which has been uh, cobbled together between Tata Steel and the UK government, which is going to use £500 million of taxpayers' money to make 3,000 men and women re redundant and uh, is also going to remove the British capability to make uh, its own steel from scratch. We would become the only country in the G20 that is no longer able to do that. So that's not the right way to go. A Tata Steel should really look again at the multi-union proposal and should also uh, look at Labour's cast-iron pledge for a £3 billion clean steel fund to work in partnership with Tata Steel and other British steelmakers so that we can build that bridge to a better, brighter, more profitable and cleaner, greener future for our steel industry. So just to be clear, you want the steel plant to keep one blast furnace going in the e interim while they move, they transition towards this greener plan. You want to keep one blast furnace going as per the union plan? Uh, that's right. What the union plan wants is to say, yes, we should have and build a, an electric arc furnace, but that electric arc furnace should be operating simultaneously with one of the blast furnaces, uh, thus giving us the mix that you need, because you put scrap steel into an electric arc furnace, but you need to mix it with iron ore that is produced by a blast furnace in order to keep all of the products that we currently make for all of the different customers that okay. Steelworks has. And our big worry is if we move to an electric arc furnace model only, we will start to lose all of those customers. Well, the, there, are, there are various issues, aren't there? there? There's the concern over the, the carbon emissions. Apparently, the, the blast furnaces contribute to 2% of the UK's total uh, carbon emissions. But there's also the cost. How much would it cost to keep the blast furnace going? At the moment, the site's losing a lot of money. Estimates put it at £1 million a day. So do you want the government to step in with support? Would a Labour government put the money forward? And how much would it cost? Well, the uh, cost, of course, has to be taken into account on the basis of how do you ensure that you keep all of your current customer base. So they may well be looking at cutting costs in the short term, but if you end up losing all your revenue because you haven't got any customers anymore, uh, then you've bitten off your nose to spite your face. Uh, so I think the key point is that keeping one of the blast furnaces going, even just for uh, through into, say, for example, the spring of 2025, uh, would get, uh, get make sure that there is the time to wait for a general election and for a Labour government coming in with a completely different mindset about our manufacturing sector, a, a strong industrial strategy, uh, a real commitment to clean power 2030 and to understanding that steel uh, will be a, an absolutely driving force in the economy of the future. So we're urging Tata Steel to take into account that, that we're probably going to have a general election this year. OK. Can you give us an idea of what it will cost, though? I know that Labour has committed £3 billion to a clean steel fund. So will money come out of that for it? I mean, this is a carbon-intensive process, keeping the blast furnace going. But would the money come out of that fund? Where would it come from? The clean steel fund would be about investing in the assets that you can have that can go alongside the electric arc furnace. So as you phase the blast furnace out, you're building direct reduced iron, which is a, a, a special kind of furnace that can be um, powered by natural gas, which is far less carbon intensive than um, coal, which goes into the blast furnaces, and which ultimately could be moved to hydrogen. Uh, so our uh, investment would be about giving the Potolbert Steelworks the assets that it needs to have the blend of electric arc furnace, direct reduced iron, thus enabling us to continue to 
produce steel in a way that is responsive uh, to the current customer demand and also able to embrace the opportunities of the future. Uh, the, uh, the cost of that is going to be far less than the cost of doing nothing. If we continue down the road that the Tata Steel uh, and UK government deal is, is taking us down, uh, we're going to end up having to import millions of tonnes of steel from India uh, in order to be rolled uh, here in Potolbert. And of course, when they produce steel in India, it's 30 to 40% more carbon intensive uh, than here in the UK. So when you add up all of the different costs of the different models, the, the multi-union proposal is effectively, over the long term, cost neutral in comparison to what the Tata Steel and UK government deal is doing. Give us just a sense of if these job losses are announced, what it would mean to the community there. We're so proud of what our steelworks does. Uh, we feel that it's driven forward uh, the British economy. It's uh, at the heart of uh, our entire manufacturing sector. Just think of the, the cars that we drive, the houses that we live in, the trains that we ride on, even the cutlery that we use uh, to eat our meals. Steel is the beating heart of manufacturing and of our entire uh, infrastructure and, of course, of our national security. Do we really want to be a country, given the dangerous and turbulent world in which we live, that isn't able to produce its own steel? We're very proud of what the Potolbert Steelworks means for uh, Wales and for the entire uh, United Kingdom. Uh, and we feel passionately here. There isn't a single house in my Aberfan constituency household that isn't connected uh, to the steelworks in some way, and the impact would be utterly devastating. So we're urging Tata Steel and the UK government to get back round the table with the unions. Uh, there is still time to, to pull back from the brink, uh, and we will be continuing to fight for that uh, with uh, every single uh, fibre of our being.